Next, let's talk about Mac OS. Whoa! Bro, Craig, what are you doing, bro? This guy must have the most expensive health insurance in the world. Dude, Craig is the GOAT. <laughs> Craig is the GOAT. The legendary ease of use of Mac OS have made the Mac more capable than ever. And we're what the heck did I just watch? To Mac OS to new heights and embark on the next chapter of our journey of productivity and creativity. But what should we call it? Well, yes, where are we going? Those crackheads. Escapades of our legendary crack marketing team. Distracted not crackheads, crack marketing team. Session, they stumbled into their minibus and wove a trail toward the Sierras, eventually rolling to a stop in a beautiful national park. Oh. Staring skyward up the towering trunks surrounding them. Where are we going? Deep kinship with anything that could get that high. Oh they my knew god. Found their spot. Welcome to Mac OS Sequoia. I'm about to start crying, bro. The incredible features oh we talked god, about Mac OS in iOS 18 Sequoia is here. iPad OS 18 are going to be amazing. Dang, that looks beautiful. You can be even more expressive in messages. Math notes provide a helpful typed experience and you can easily plan a hike in maps. These new features That's are cool. terrific on the Mac, and Mac OS Sequoia introduces even more features to help Pass you keys? effortlessly get things done. Let's start with continuity. Yeah, you guys gotta continuity fix this stuff. Continuity helps you do so much more when you use Apple products together. Mm -hmm. It powers some of your favorite features, like universal clipboard, universal control, and universal Mac clipboard is a plus on Apple Vision Pro. And Mac OS Sequoia makes continuity even more magical. For all those times when we want to use our iPhone only to realize it's tucked away in a bag over in another room, there's a brand new continuity feature called iPhone mirroring. With iPhone mirroring, huh? on that, I can see what's on my iPhone and can control it too, all while barely lifting a finger. Wait, Let me what? show you how it works. Show me, Craig. To access my phone, I just click here in my dock. Boom, and there's my iPhone mirrored in a window right on my Mac. I can fully interact with it all wirelessly. I can see my custom wallpaper. My Why is this not on iPad OS? I want to touch my iPhone on an iPad. Swiping through pages of my home screen. And I can open any of my iPhone apps. Why is this on Mac OS? App for a bit of extra energy for my favorite local coffee shop. I can use my Mac trackpad to interact with the app. I don't want to take and away from him what he's saying, Mac but man, too. Like to add special if Mac OS had a touch screen, game Let's over. Let's make this ice cold. To make this even more magical, we're bringing iPhone notifications to Mac. They appear alongside my Mac notifications, and I can even interact with them when I don't have. Wait, Mac Windows has, has had this before. This one from Duolingo. Right? What's neat? Is when I click on it, bam! I'm taken right into the Duolingo That's actually app on my iPhone, so I can practice my Spanish and extend my streak. La manzana. Apple. As you can hear, my iPhone's audio even comes through my Mac. So you might be wondering, what's on my iPhone screen while I'm using iPhone? It's mirror? black. What the it heck? stays locked <laughs> so nobody else can access it. Amen. It seamlessly with standby. Standby stays visible so I can get information at a glance as I use my phone with iPhone mirroring. And iPhone mirroring makes it effortless to combine the power of my Mac. I wonder how this impacts battery life. Big screen with the things I get done on my iPhone. I'm using a template in the Unfold app to make a post, and I've got one last video to add. On Mac, I've been using Final Cut Pro to stitch some clips together. Watch how easy it is to use my devices together. I can grab the exported video and just drop it right into the template. Perfect. Wait, what? That's, so that's crazy. iPhone mirroring. And Mac OS Sequoia has fantastic updates to how you arrange FaceTime. Windows, share while video conferencing, and organize your passwords. Now, when you drag a window to the edge of the screen, Mac OS automatically... Oh my god, we're living in the future! 
You can release your window right into place. Finally! Side by side. Or place them into corners to keep even more. Goodbye, Magnet. And new keyboard and menu shortcuts help you arrange your tiles. Oh my god, even it's so fluid. Now, let's talk about video conferencing. Yes. When you're on a video call, say goodbye to oversharing with the new presenter preview. It lets you see what you're about to share before you share it and works with apps like FaceTime and Zoom. And when you want to express yourself or just hide the laundry behind you, you can now replace your background. Dang, that's with some, some high quality backgrounds. In backgrounds or your own photos. <sighs> Background replacements use Apple's industry leading segmentation, so you look your best while on a call. Now, let's talk about how we're building on the foundation of Keychain to help you manage your passwords. All right. For over 25 years, we've been adding features to make logging into your accounts easier. You have. And now we're introducing the Passwords app. Passwords makes it easy to access your credentials and have them securely stored all in one place. Hmm. Everything is organized for you, from your passwords to verification codes to security alerts. This you looks like one password. On Mac, iPad, iPhone, Vision oh, Pro, and on no. Windows with the iCloud for Windows app. Everything Apple. All the passwords securely sync across your devices. And if you use autofill, your passwords will automatically populate in the passwords app. Wait, I'm still gonna use one password. Now, here's Beth to tell you about Safari. Beth. Safari offers an experience like no other browser on Mac. In macOS Sequoia, Safari is the world's fastest browser. And on you Mac. To fly through the web with lightning speed. On and Mac. It offers up to four hours more battery life than Chrome when streaming video. On Mac. Safari is also a trailblazer in privacy with industry leading intelligent tracking prevention and private browsing that's actually private. It not only protects your history, it prevents websites from seeing what you do while you browse. And it's built on WebKit, which supports the latest exciting web technologies and standards. If you missed anything we've added to Safari in the last few years, it's time to check it out. Safari has Let me check everything it out. you need to feel at home, like profiles, translation, and more. And in this release, we're making it even better with easier ways to discover content and streamline your browsing. Mm -hmm. When you're on a site, Safari can now help you discover more about the page with highlights. Safari uses machine learning to automatically detect relevant information and highlight it for you as you browse. Highlights share helpful information like directions, summaries, and quick links to learn more about people, music, movies, and TV shows. Wait, what? So if you're planning a trip, you can effortlessly discover a hotel's location and phone number right there. Oh. You can listen to an artist's music or check out a new show with just a click. Oh. And even get a summary so you can get the gist before reading on. Summaries are also integrated into So making into people read less and just read headlines reader. and jump to conclusions. Reader instantly removes distractions from articles. And now it can provide a table of contents and includes a helpful summary right next to the article. What kind of chat GPT We're Model 3 summary is that? Free experience to We're video on 4 on as well with Viewer. When Safari detects a video on the page, Viewer helps you put it front and center while still giving you full access to system playback controls like AirPlay and Picture in Picture. <laughs> and video automatically moves into Picture in Picture if you click away. Mm. And that's a quick look at what's new in Safari. Back to you, Craig. Let's talk about gaming. We're so excited to see more and more game developers I got a MacBook in front of me. The Mac with great games like these, including the most recent game of the year, Baldur's Gate 3, all leveraging Metal 3 to deliver smooth frame rates, provide high quality visuals, and take full advantage of Apple Silicon. Okay. Every Mac in the lineup can play today's most cutting edge games, Death, Death Stranding, Stranding, Director's Cut, and so can iPhone 15 Pro and any iPad with an M series chip. And for developers, this creates a unified gaming platform across iPhone, iPad, and Mac, spanning well over a hundred million devices and growing rapidly. These devices are capable of playing an entirely new class of games. And with iOS 18, iPad OS 18, and Mac OS Sequoia, we continue to deliver features for an even more immersive gaming experience. Mm -hmm. And since the introduction of Game Porting Toolkit, developers have been able to bring their games to Apple devices faster than ever. And gaming enthusiasts can experience more games on the Mac. Mm -hmm. And this year, 
Game Porting Toolkit 2 takes this to the next level, enabling developers to bring even more advanced games to Mac with improved Windows compatibility and shader debugging tools. And it's much easier to bring Mac games to iPad and iPhone with mm -hmm. Xcode support that lets developers unify their game code and shaders across devices. And for players, there's a lot to look forward to. And that's more games. Like Frostpunk 2, coming to Mac next month. Control, providing a mind-bending story that just looks incredible with ray tracing. And there's some exciting news from Ubisoft. Don't the show developers that released for the Assassin's love of God. Creed Mirage on iPhone and iPad just a few days ago. To tell you more about what's to come from Ubisoft, here's Mark Alexi. I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get some pizza. Our mission is to enrich players' lives by creating original and memorable gaming experiences. We see a huge opportunity to share our passion for games to more players in the Apple ecosystem thanks to the unified gaming platform with tight integration of Metal and Apple Silicon. Just last month, we announced that Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, is coming to Mac, and we unveiled that the next big chapter of Assassin's Creed is also coming to Mac on November 15, alongside PCs and consoles. We're so oh, Assassin's Creed Shadows! And can't <laughs> wait for you to experience it on Mac. This How about I is Assassin's don't Creed Shadows. We're venturing into feudal Japan, which you can experience from the perspectives of Nawe, a shinobi assassin, and Yasuke, a legendary samurai bro just African play ghost of Tsushima. intricately detailed scenes like sekiro thanks to our next generation and upcoming wukong supporting the latest advancements in metal enabling us to leverage the full power of apple silicon with a gaming experience not gonna lie ubisoft this does look amazing though and high resolutions our next generation anvil engine scales performance and quality across the mac lineup and delivers stunning vistas embellished with ray tracing. And speaking of Apple Silicon, we're thrilled to announce that in addition to Mac, Assassin's Creed Shadows will also be coming to iPad. With Ubisoft's Envil engine now supporting the Apple ecosystem, we couldn't be more excited about bringing our biggest titles to Apple devices. Download and play Assassin's Creed Mirage today. For free! Assassin's Creed Shadows Sorry. will be available later this year. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, you didn't say back to Craig. That's We're disrespectful. so excited about these amazing games coming to Apple devices. And this year, even more games are on the way, creating a stellar lineup of titles to look forward to. So that's gaming, which wraps up Mac OS Sequoia. That's it's it. A big release that up levels your productivity and creativity. What you mean big? You can quickly tile windows for your ideal workspace. A massive update to Safari. Well, honestly, iPhone mirroring is the best thing that they announced. Free. Let's be An honest. An amazing host of new gaming titles are coming to the Mac. And iPhone mirroring lets you wirelessly use your iPhone oh, right from your and Mac. And the easier window tiling. Mac OS joins the announcements across our platforms. And this is a huge year for developers. With brilliant new features and APIs coming so they can supercharge their apps and experiences. Developer betas will be available today. Public betas will be available next month, and all of our OS releases will be available to users this fall. 